June 30th, 1863, my very dear Jenny. The indications are strong that we should move in a few days, perhaps tomorrow. Lest I should not be able to see you again, I feel impelled to write so that it may fall into your eye when I shall be no more. I cannot describe to you my feelings on this calm summer night when 2,000 men are sleeping around me. Many of them enjoying the last, perhaps before that of death. And I too am suspicious that death is creeping behind me. God, my country, and thee, your loving husband, William.
July 2nd. My dear wife, you know, after the second day of severe conflict, is it weak or dishonorable that my unbounded love for you, my darling wife and children, should struggle in fear, so useless contest with my highest love of all, country. this earth and fled unseen around those they love, I shall always be near you. There be a soft breeze upon your cheek, it should be my breath, or the cool air fed your throbbing temple, it should be my spirit passing by, eternally yours, William. 